Now, after we had a good idea about uh, the form design and the orientation of the building and which is the best uh, facade uh, for each building, we can uh, move forward to the uh, openings in the facade. So the topic of this video is going to be window to wall ratio, which is how much I should create of windows or like openings in my facades. We know that windows are an essential component in building design. They allow the natural light to enter and of course they provide the interior with the view of the outdoors. However, the number and the size uh, of windows of each facade can significantly impact the uh, energy efficiency of the building. Before we move forward to what we need to consider while designing building windows, we need to notice these facts. Number one, the sun rays that travel through the window to the room, to the interior of the building, does not travel back. So the heat that is gained uh, from the sun rays will stay, will keep inside the building. This is a physical feature of the glass that it, it does not reflect the rays back out. That's why when you walk in a room with full glazed uh, facades and it's like directly hit by sun rays, you feel the heat inside. Number two, the second fact that we should know about uh, windows that the uh, isolation value, it's called like the U value, we'll see it later. Uh, the isolation value of the window is weaker than the isolation value of a wall. So a typical window would be maybe three or four times uh, weaker in, in isolation value uh, than uh, the wall beside it. And that of course causes more heat transfer through the window. Even when the window is closed, uh, the heat transfer through the window is uh, greater than the heat transfer through the wall. Which leads to the third fact that we need to know, which is that the openings of a building are the most exposed areas to heat leakage and uh, thermal bridges. According to the study, methods for calculating the heat loss of uh, exterior wall in building construction, it is proved that very large heat loss occurs at the junction points between the, the window frames and the wall uh, in the sill areas. So now we are aware of these facts, what should we consider while designing uh, building openings? Number one, locate your sun gaining facade and act accordingly. So if you want these sun rays to go inside, you make as much openings at, as you can in this facade. If you're building in a cold area and you want to uh, heat the interior, or in, if you are in a, in a hot climate and you want these sun rays out, then you should close this facade as much as you can. Number two, consider double glazing windows uh, with, when you design for a cold area. These double glazed windows have uh, more isolation value, more than the windows with the one layer of glazing. Number three, consider triple glazed windows in the facades that have no heat gain. So for example, if you have a, a facade on the north, and you're not gaining any sun rays from that uh, facade, then a triple glazed window will be uh, very effective, preserving energy in the interior and uh, less heat transfer between the inside and the outside. Number four, if you are designing for a hot climate area, then you should consider keeping the hot outside by using sunshade devices. In the exterior side of the window. Why I'm saying in the exterior side? Because if you consider it in the inside like uh, drapes or curtains, then you're letting the sun rays get inside your, uh, your room and they are not going to go back. So it's heating more of the interior of your room. But if you consider an exterior device, then the, this exterior device will protect your window from these sun rays. Number five, consider the optimum window to wall ratio values. So these values differ from uh, one country to the other, but uh, mostly in Europe, according to the uh, Professor Orange work, uh, these values should be considered. So in the northern facades, you, when you have no heat gain, you should uh, close as much as you can and you should not 
make openings more than 20% of the facade while on the east and west you can open up to 30% but of course in the southern facade as we uh, as we talked earlier we can go about 50% of the facade area to be openings area and the last advice is to take care of the joinery work or the junction points between the window and the wall because during the window installation you should not be leaving the smallest gap between uh, the, the window and the wall otherwise you're creating a thermal bridge that causes a lot of heat transfer